headed to Whitefish Point where there is the best chance of clear skies and the northern lights. Yeah, hopefully, I don't know if we'll actually be able to see them with our naked eye, but the camera should pick them up really well. Yeah, I hope I get to see it with my naked eye. set up at St. Ignis and we are driving towards the sunset. As you can see, the sun is right in our eyes. <laughs> uh, Whitefish Point has a lighthouse and we're going to look for some really cool foreground and see what we can see. Yeah, well, uh, it'll be fun either way, no matter yeah. what happens. Yeah, I'm It's excited. an adventure for sure. It is an adventure. will be on the right. There's the lighthouse. Oh, that's pretty. sitting at Whitefish Point. Dennis is over that way. I don't know if you can see him or not, but he's trying to get some cool sunset shots. And we're gonna wait around and see if the northern lights appear. I'm so excited, I hope they come. Even if I can't see them with my own eyes, I hope that Dennis can get them on the camera. So. amazing here, huh? Yes, it is. <laughs> well, that's a pretty nice view. You got a lighthouse behind you. Yeah, cool. Oh, and they just turned on the light. Yeah, I saw that just a minute ago. Cool. Yeah. So hopefully if those clouds clear up, we might see something later. Yeah. This is a lighthouse. This is a light that's going away. And hopefully over here, there will be northern lights. If the clouds go away. Well, the mosquitoes are starting to come out a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Not yeah. terrible, though. Well, they haven't, be carried, worse. they haven't carried us away yet. Right. Not as bad as uh, open sleeping bear that one time. Right. No, so it's getting dimmer. Still have some beautiful color from the sunset. Turn up on there. Mm, a little bit, yeah. I don't see any northern lights yet. No. Too early. Stay tuned. <laughs> okay, scratch what I said about no bugs or not very many bugs. It's foggy. They're all over. Yeah. Should have brought some bug nuts. Yeah, so anyway, we're sticking it out because we're still hopeful. At this point. But oh my <laughs> goodness, they're they're everywhere. Yeah. I might have got so many bites. I'm gonna be scratching like crazy tomorrow. Oh no. Mosquitoes drove us out of Whitefish Point, too. So we drove down to Paradise, Michigan, just to kind of check the radar and stuff. The bugs were really bad up there. It started raining. There was a lot of clouds on the horizon. But we're going to head back up there, is what we're doing right now, just to see what we can see, if it's cleared up at all yet. It's about 11, quarter after 11. Right, and the KP index is supposed to be at a 5 right around now. 
so it's gonna kind of depend on if there's clouds or clear sky or what. Yeah, there's really, you know, there's a real science to all this that I don't understand all of it. The KP index is just one thing to look at. There's other factors or variables to look at. I don't know what they are, but usually if the KP is really high, you might see something. Right, and there were a bunch of people, or at least some people, that saw the Northern Lights in Traverse City last night, which is quite a bit south of where we are. Oh yeah, so. <laughs> so we and were really hopeful. And that was at a five or a six, so KP wise, so. Yeah, it's 11.15 and I'm really tired, <laughs> but here we go. We're trying it, it's an adventure. Wouldn't be an adventure if we weren't driving all over Kingdom Come. <laughs> and we just bought gas for 509, so. Oh. You know, we passed it up it. at 473. Surely we can find it cheaper. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> So we drove back to Whitefish Point and saw a brief little glimpse of what we think were the northern lights coming up over some clouds on the horizon. There was a brightness in the sky anyway. Yeah, well, and it had a very faint greenish Did it? tinge to it, kind of. I thought so. Maybe, maybe I was just wishing that it was. But anyway, so, but then some more rain moved in. We're waiting for that to pass by. I'm watching the radar and it looks like it'll pass over in another, I don't know, we're, look, we're about halfway through it. Maybe another 15 minutes. I don't know, it's hard to judge. But then we're hoping we'll be able to see something after that. So technically we may have seen the Northern Lights. <laughs> <laughs> it just looked like a very soft. A soft glow coming from glow the north. Glow coming yeah. from the north. Yeah. But again, the horizon was covered with clouds and right. you could see just this glow coming over the top of the clouds. Everybody's leaving. This this parking lot for at 11, almost midnight here is is almost completely packed. And, yeah. But people are starting to, now that it's raining, I think, starting to leave. Yeah. So we're gonna hang out a little bit longer, see yeah. what happens. Yeah. <laughs> she might be sleeping, but I'm gonna get some sort of picture. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Did we just get an Aurora notification? We did. It said KP index is becoming high. Check the app to find out if you can see the Aurora or to adjust notification settings. My Aurora notification app just dinged like two seconds ago. As well as I, I got another app that also gave me a weather alert that says KP is becoming high. So well, how much longer for the rain here? What are you using, Windy? I use Windy for radar, for sure. It's got a really good radar. So we are the little blue dot. Obviously the green and yellow, that's all the rain. And it's moving in this, that direction. So we're two thirds of the way through it. We got a little bit to go yet. But I was just walked out there and I could see a glow again on the horizon. So we can, you can see underneath the rain. Ooh, it just changed. Ooh, got smaller. Yeah. So it's getting better. A few more minutes and we'll head out there. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Me too. Eee. I'll leave it on a minute. Let me pull up this other app. Ooh, they're saying in the next hour, KP5. And this is in Mackinac City. It says a 27% visible on the horizon. I think that's what it actually says okay. or means. It says 6% overhead. We're an hour and a half north of Mackinac, so we should be even better. You can't see what it is here? I don't know if it'll have Whitefish Point in there. But if I go here, between 0 and 2 a.m., I think it's a 5. From 2 to 5 a.m., it's a 6. So the longer we stay and the more <laughs> sleep-deprived we become... <laughs> yeah. You mean to tell me that we could have done this right by our campsite? No, because it would have been blocked by the hills and the trees. Well, but I mean, like this is Mackinac City, we could have done it over the bridge. Right. Come here, hold the back. <laughs> yep. 
Can't see anything. So we are here getting some shots of the Aurora. They're showing up great on camera. And we were kind of able to see them with our naked eye. Yeah, it didn't look like what you see in photos, but right. we could see it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, so. We're just moving around getting some shots with the lighthouse and the Aurora behind it. Part of the Aurora is actually purple. And there's a specific name for that and I don't know what it is. I'll have to look it up and put it on the screen. Yeah, and then that's really showing up pretty decent with uh, looking up at the lighthouse. Yeah, I think that was my favorite shot was with that purple. That was pretty cool. Yeah. So if you got some good ones, we'll have to put them, show them ever, show that. Say that again. It's 1 a.m. Take two. <laughs> <laughs> if you get some good ones, you'll have to show everyone. I will. I will. Speaking of 1 a.m., it's supposed to peak around 2 or so. Oh, boy. So we're going to be here a while yet. Oh. We're going to be here a while yet. <laughs> and then we got an hour and a half drive back to the camp. Yeah. It's what, 3.13 in the morning, and I have a face like the <laughs> squashed bug that's on the windshield right now. <laughs> or the 50 of them that are squished and dead inside here that I killed. Yeah, oh my goodness. What a night. We've still got probably over an hour's drive yet back to the campground. But what a night. We got a, hopefully got a ton of pictures. This was a good adventure, we had a lot of fun. Yeah, it was really cool. First time seeing the Northern Lights. Oh, by the way, I want to shoot sunrise this morning. <laughs> Have fun. I'm sleeping. <laughs> time to focus on the road. Yeah. Gotta watch out for the deer and the moose and the bears and whatever okay. else is up here, yeah. Yeah. Seeing the Northern Lights has been on our bucket list for a long time. But when the bugs and the weather weren't quite what we had hoped for, well, I have to admit that we were tempted to give up and go back to camp and sleep. Believe me, we've done that plenty of times in the past. Sometimes we just don't have the energy to persevere and push past the obstacles that are in our path. But when we do make the extra effort, we're usually rewarded and we always learn something. Maybe our eyes couldn't see the vibrant green and magenta lights the way we had hoped. But what we did see gave us a renewed determination to sharpen our aurora chasing skills and try again in the future. And trying again is really all we can ask of ourselves when we're tackling new experiences. Be sure you tune in next time when we make the most of our travel day in St. Ignace in spite of our aurora chasing exhaustion. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching, and until next time, go out and live your best life, one aurora chase at a time.